This practical is for BS1002 and we're going to explore enzyme activity. The function of an enzyme depends very much on its structure. As you can see uh, here, there are several bonds between both the side chains of a, a protein and uh, its own backbone to determine its structure. There are ionic bonds, covalent bonds, and other type of uh, bonds, such as hydrogen bonds. There are also several agents that affect uh, the protein structure, such as temperature, cardiotropic agent, and what we are focusing on predominantly in this practical is the pH. The pH is important because uh, the side chains and the end of a protein, the carboxyl group and the amino groups, can be charged at neutral pH and change their charge when the pH uh, changes. As you can see here, when even in a side chain of uh, the protein, um, as a change with a change of pH, the amino group and the carboxyl group change uh, their pH so that at uh, low pHs they are proteinated and at high pH they are unproteinated. You can imagine then in a structure where uh, the charges are important for maintaining uh, the structure of that protein, if we change the pH of that uh, solution we will change the charges and therefore we can destabilize uh, the structure of the protein. In this practical, we're going to look at alkaline phosphatase. This is an enzyme that removes a phosphate from other proteins. The opposite reaction is done by kinase proteins, which add phosphates to protein. This uh, process is important because it can uh, activate or inactivate certain proteins. What we are going to use as a substrate for this enzyme is nitrophenol uh, phosphate, which uh, alkaline phosphatase can remove a phosphate to form nitro paranitrophenol. Paranitrophenol it has color of, is a yellow color and therefore we can measure its absorbance in a spectrophotometer. That's allowing us to measure the, the rate of a reaction. You'll be carrying out this experiment in microtiter plate and you'll be setting it up uh, the reaction as uh, indicated here. First you will be putting the enzyme um, in all the uh, columns indicated there, one, two, four, and letters A to E. You, in uh, F, uh, the row F, instead, uh, you will be putting just water, which will act as a blank. You will add, add, then add different pHs to each of the rows A to E as indicated here. Having, having done that, you will then add the substrate uh, nitrophenol phosphate to column 1 and 2 where nitrophenol phosphate is dissolved in water and in column 3 and 4 where PN and PP is dissolved in uh, a buffer at pH 8.5 at high con higher concentration, 100 millimolar while the other buffers were at 10 millimolar. Finally, after five minutes, you will stop the reaction by adding a three molar sodium hydroxide to all the tube. You will then uh, read the absorbance in a spectrophotometer, as indicated in the picture, and you can actually uh, get a few of you together to read more tubes uh, together. You will then be able to plot your data on a graph. 
be careful how you then analyze uh, that graph. You should really uh, be fitting the curve uh, rather than just joining the points so that you can get a better estimate of, of the optimal pH. In terms of health and safety, please be careful, uh, take the usual precautions, and in particular, some of the buffers are high or low pH and the two normal, uh, three normal sodium hydroxide can be dangerous if it comes in contact with the skin or eyes. So please do be careful and work in the best way possible. Thank you.